Hi there, it's Mr. Robs. And Ms. Slyman. And we're here to expand binomials and polynomials and all kinds of good things like that. And so when we're expanding binomials, we're actually multiplying. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take these two numbers, 34 times 78, and we're going to multiply them in a different way than what you're used to. We're going to look at the area, actually. I'm going to make a box as such. And I'm going to do this to the box. And I'm going to pretend that this is 30 and this is 4, because that's 34. And so we're saying that because anytime you're multiplying, it's like taking a length times a width. So that length of 34 could be separated into a length of 30 and a length of 4. Right. And 78 could separate into 70 and 8. And so then I can take these little area parts, and if I multiply these lengths and widths, I can multiply and get into the box, I get 2100. 4 times 70 is 280. And 240 is the 8 times 30. And finally, 32. So then if I want to find the actual area of this box, which is a 34 by 78 box, then we have to add up all the areas. 2100 and 280 and 240 and 32, which gives us a grand total area of 2,652. Nice. Okay, so we've taken this value and we split it into parts and we looked for the area. That's the box, box method. We're going to take this idea of area and we're going to transfer it over to binomials. So let's try another example here. Let's look at x plus 5 times 2x minus 4. And so I'm going to make myself a box. I'm looking for the area of this box here. I'm going to do this. And so what should I put across the top, Ms. Lyman? Well, I see that we are multiplying x plus 5. So one of my lengths is x plus 5. So I'm going to separate that out, separate out the x and the 5. And then the, I could think of it as the width is going to be 2x minus 4. So I'm separating the variables from the constants. Okay, and then I just multiply each part together to find this particular area. It's 2x times x, which is 2x squared. To find this rectangular area, 2x times the 5, and I get 10x. This one here? Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Okay, and then the last thing we do is we add them up which is then 2x squared plus 10x minus 4x minus 20. Collect like terms, and we get 10x minus 4x is plus 6x minus 20. And there is our property of multiplying these two together, or expanding is another word you sometimes see for it. So the result of the multiplication, the product, is 2x squared plus 6x minus 20. Right. And the more often you do this, you're going to be able to get these terms much faster and be able to do some parts of these uh, in your head and you'll slowly get really fast at, at it. Try another example. Here we have x minus 1 times 2x plus 1. So again, we'll make a box, put our little areas in there, we'll break it up the 2x plus 1, and x minus 1. Mr. Rops, this time I noticed that you put the 2x plus 1 on top, and that was the second term, and last time we put the first term on top. Does it matter? It doesn't matter, because it's area, it's just length times width, and they're interchangeable. So, so let's just start multiplying. I get 2x squared, x, 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x, negative 1 and 1 is negative 1, collect like terms, 2x squared. Now I'm going to shortcut this a little bit. I know these two are the same. They're like terms, so I can put them together, and that's going to be negative x and minus 1. And so there is our product expanded. Let's try another one. Mm. Oh, this one looks tricky. It does. A couple things I'm, makes me question. I got this negative 5 here. And even the 3 and the negative x are switched around. So how do you want to tackle this one there, Ms. Lyman? 
Well, negative five times that, it just means I have, I'm gonna end up with negative five of those things. Mm -hmm. So first I wanna start out and figure that area that comes from the three X times the, sorry, the three minus X times the two X minus one. So first I mm -hmm. wanna multiply that and then we're gonna multiply all of that by negative five. All right, so if I understand you right, you're gonna do three minus x times two x minus one. We're gonna do this computation first mm -hmm. by the box method and then multiply by negative five. That's what I would like to do. All right, great. Let's get rid of that and let's start to multiply. I'll fill in the blanks, you tell me what to write. Six x, negative three negative 2x squared, and negative x times negative 1 is positive x. Right, so equals negative 5 on the outside still, and what should I write next? I want to write the x squared term first, so negative 2x squared. And this time my like terms aren't in the boxes they were in before, now they're in 6x and x, but they're still like terms, so I want to put those together and call it positive 7x. And then I see that we still have negative 3 left. Okay, and then what? And then let's distribute. Negative 5 times negative 2x is 10x squared minus 35x plus 15. Super. So this is our expanded form of all of this scenario. We multiplied the binomials first and then by the constant at the end. Okay. Ah, we have oh. ooh, x plus 3 squared. Well, squared makes me think of a box that's square. So I'm taking a length and a width that are exactly the same and multiply them, multiplying them by each other. Okay. So x plus 3 is one length and x plus 3 is also the width. And now I'm just going to fill in my areas, x squared, 3x, 3x, and 9. So my final multiplication result must be x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay. We have to, this is the term that always messes students up, though, because we have to make sure that there are squares here. And we are, in essence, doing the what the property says, we multiply it by itself. I love this box. It's cool. Great. No, oh, oh, we have a box that's a little bit bigger this time, I think. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me like it has a short side and a longer side. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so now our box is going to have six sections inside of it. So my short side had an, a length of a and plus one. My longer side was a squared minus 4a plus 7. All right, and so we multiply each box. a squared times a is? a cubed. And then? Negative 4a squared, mm -hmm. 7a. And then mm -hmm. a squared, minus 4a, and plus 7. seven. OK, so now let's look for like terms here. I can see there's an a squared term and an a squared term. And I also see that there's an a term and an a term here. So let's collect them all together. And so the product is going to be a cubed minus 3a squared, putting together our like terms. Mm -hmm. And get plus 3a and then plus 7 on the end. Mm -hmm. Great. So with a, this time we had a binomial times a trinomial, and our result had an extra term in it. Cool. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It is interesting. It sounds like an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an extra hard one, because it's got, it's a great big giant scenario. And I was thinking that we would just set it up, and then we'll just pause and let them finish it off themselves. I think that's a great plan. Right. And they can check, on the next video they're going to watch is about Wolfram Alpha. And they can check to see if they're right on Wolfram Alpha. Mm -hmm. And then we'll, they'll tell us if they are right or not in class. Great. Okay, so the reason why I made a 3x3 three three grid here, a square by 3x3 three three size, because each of these are trinomials. 
And so I can say n squared minus 4n plus 1. And I can say on the top is going to be 2n squared plus n minus 3. And I don't need to write the plus sign. I can. And then I'm going to start multiplying. I'll do the first one here. This is going to be 2n to the power 4. And every combination, you multiply them, and then you find your like terms and collect them. And you should get a great big long thing at the end. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing it in class. Anything else to add? That's it. Go watch your Wolfram Alpha video now. Yes, I love Wolfram Alpha.